بعنق الصحراء الباهية فوق التلال والصخور تزهر Hello. 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 Are you a Muslim, my friend? Um. Uh, yes. So why your name is Saint? Um. I like the name. But it's not allowed to have saint in Islam. There's no saint in Islam. Yeah, but the concept is like wali. No, no. wali have nothing to do with the, with saint. What wali have to do with saint? I just I like my I just like. The oh, name. okay. So what do you want to tell me, my friend? Go ahead. I'm listening to you. Why why you are a Muslim? Um, it makes the most uh, sense. Islam makes a, Islam makes sense. That's good. So when your God He promised you endless penis in heaven, that makes sense. What's the contradiction? Contradiction for what? For a small penis? No. What's the contradiction of it? I'm not talking about contradiction. You are talking about sense. You said it makes sense. Is it make well, is how, it? how that will make sense? Your wife is next to you, and your penis is going to the God knows when, which galaxy. I mean, you are talking about sense. We're talking about contradiction. You said it makes sense. So your wife now next to you in the bed, and you say, "Honey, I'm horny. What do you do?" Like, and your penis is like going like, Ooh, zzz, zzz, zzz. "Honey, what is your penis? We need it now. Honey, I cannot I have no control. It, he's, he's going everywhere. He's not. Let me see. Let me let me ask Joe Biden. He have a satellite. Joe, do you know? Um, well, you know the thing. Like, what the thing? Look for my thing. I cannot find my thing. Do you see my thing? My wife, she's next to me." And this God, he gave me in the thing. And you are telling me, my friend, that Islam makes sense? Yeah, because sense is using logic. What is the logic about having endless penis? There's no contradiction of it. So it's I'm not talking about contradiction. I'm not, I didn't, did I mention the word contradiction? You, you stuck with the word contradiction. You know? What is, okay, well, let's agree. What, let's, is, what is sense? If is your no wife is next to you, in order now to have sex with those women, Allah, he promised you, they have to be at the end of the penis. So now... Your penis is endless, which means there's no end. So how, where, where is those women will be located? Are you going to be in the same heaven or she will be in different galaxy or where? So don't tell me Islam makes sense. Oh, no, well, hold on. What about your prophet? He promised you that your wife, her butt will be one mile. Does that make sense? So you will be, you will be 96 mile tall and you are thin like a macaroni and she will be 36 mile tall or 30, uh, 30 mile tall and her butt is one mile. And you are, now your penis is endless, but you cannot have it. And not only that, your prophet, he says, which means a vagina fit for that. So how her butt is one mile only, but her vagina is endless. Can you draw that for me? It's impossible. No, because it's transcendent. Transcendent. Ah, okay. So, okay, you see, I don't want to... Okay, tell me more about Islam. What, what makes sense in Islam? Um, it uh, confirms with classical theism. Classical what? Theism. What does that mean? Um, theism is the belief in a God that interacts with humans. Your God, he interacts with the humans? Yes, that's what theism So how means. come your God, he never spoke to Muhammad? Uh, what are you talking about? What I'm talking about, I'm talking about your God never spoke to Muhammad. Isn't you Muslim? You say that Muhammad received the Quran from Jibril, a guy is named Jibril. He come to the house, Muhammad. Uh, according to the to the hadith, like as an example, what what chapter you recite every day five times a day? Um, the Surah Al Fatiha. But I have a question. Al Fatiha. Don't change topic. Hold on, my friend. You know, have patience with me. So Al, Al Fatiha. Okay, hold on, hold my friend, my friend. Let us let us. Uh, we are having good time. You know. You want some coffee? Uh, no, I like tea instead. Okay, tea, no problem. Camel urine if you want. According to your prophet, when he received the chapter of Al-Fatiha, and you are the one who said to me that he, God, he interact with with his, uh, with his the people, with the human. I like that. But I don't know where you get it from. According to your prophet, when he received the chapter of Al-Fatiha, which you recite five times a day, he was doing poo-poo. And the one who spoke to him was not Allah, it was the angel Jibreel. If you go to the book of Asbab al nuzul which I'm showing in the screen, it says each time Baraz al Rasul, which means he doing shit, uh, poo poo shit, he hear a sound. 
each time he get out. Look how funny Muhammad is. So whenever he went out, which means to do poo, poo he used to hear someone calling him saying, Oh, Muhammad. And whenever he hear that, he used to flee. And then Warakad Nanofal, which I believe he is the real father of your prophet, he advised him to remain in his place when the caller call him. Now you say to me, Allah, he in, you know, intervene. And what he, what you say to you, know what? It means interact. Anything interact, interact. Is, so why, why, why your God, Allah, he is sending the angel when Muhammad doing poo, poo and he is not talking to him. He never spoke to him. You don't have to speak in order to interact. Uh, how your God interact with a human being? It could be by any, it could be by any means. It doesn't like, for example, uh -huh. I could text somebody, but just because I don't verbally say anything, doesn't mean I'm not interacting with them. Did your God Allah send text to Muhammad? It's an analogy, so it's not literal. Well, are you are you you believer in analogy? Not uh, you know what does that mean? I'm asking you now. You said interact. And, well, your God Allah never. You never time. You never saw Allah. You never spoke to Allah. You never heard of Allah. You never, you know you know nothing about Allah. Okay, is it true that your God Allah? He have a hand. Um, it's transcendent. What transcendent mean? It means that it is beyond anything related to created. Who reality. care? Who care? Allah, He said He have a hand. Did I ask you if it is? Uh, yeah, like but it, it it says that in the Bible too. So. Well, my my God is Jesus. He have hands. Yeah, and He came as a human. We have no problem with that. I'm asking you, you as a Muslim, your God, Allah, yeah. have a hand. But it also says in the Old Testament before incarnated. So. Hmm. But is your God Allah the same? He's what? Is your God Allah is the same as Jesus? You mean? No, I'm just saying. I don't know why. Okay, you're so using why you are comparing between this and that? Either, either anything. you believe then, either you believe that your God Allah incarnate, or you believe is not. Did your God Allah incarnate? No, he doesn't have to incarnate. What do you mean he doesn't have to? It's just an attribute that he has. That's uh, just like in the what Old is Testament. The says, you, you know nothing about God the, has a throne, You know nothing about the nature of. You, well, you know nothing about the nature of nature of Allah. Do you know? I don't need to know if God says. You keep saying to you, me. So why you are agree? saying? So why you are saying to me the nature of Allah? If you say I do not need to know, which means you do not know. So how you speak about His nature if you do not know His nature? You claim that it doesn't mean with His nature, but you don't know His nature. So why you are mentioning so His nature as an excuse, but you do not know His nature? Wouldn't you agree that we don't have to comprehend it a hundred percent? For a Muslim. Hello? For a Muslim, you don't hear me? Oh, sorry, I cut out. All right, no problem. So, about comprehend, you Muslim, you, you comprehend nothing. If I give you any verse in the Quran, do you comprehend any verse in the Quran? Yeah, I can. Understand. I will have a challenge for you. Give me the give me the most comprehend verse for you. Um, the one you Allah comprehend, one. big deal. Choose a chapter. Surah Khalas. Read for me, Allah Khalas. Um, okay. Wait. Why you choose Allah Khalas? What, what is special about it? Um, it's very simple and good. Uh -huh. It's okay. So are, yeah, you are, you, are, you, are you saying the rest are not simple and that make them not completely. I didn't say that. I'm just, you just said the most. All right. So, well, let us see, al Ikhlas, how stupid it is. You chose the most stupid chapter in the Quran. Go ahead. Wait, so God being one is stupid? Nowhere it says one. It says, Qul huwa Allahu Ahad. Ahad does not mean one. Ahad mean one of. <laughs> one of what? You, you tell me. If you go right no, now, you, listen. You made the claim. Listen, you copy the, claim. the word Ahad in your screen, in your computer. Copy the word Ahad and paste it in the search engine and you will find that each time the word Ahad appear in the Quran, it means Ahad mean one of. In Arabic, when we say Ahad, we mean we have to use it as one of. Ahad al-Tullab, one of the students. Ahad al athatiza one of the teachers. Ahad al-Muallimin, Ahad al-Nisa, so one of the women. We cannot use the word. Huh? Is Ahad the same thing as Ahad? It's the same. It's the same word. There's one. One off. So why is why is why is one say all and the other one doesn't? There is nowhere. This is Muhammad copying the Old Testament 
O Israel, your God is one, Echad. Not one as a person. This is Echad. This is the same as the Hebrew. Ahad, Echad, Ehad, Ehad, Echad. So Echad is Ahad, Ahad, Ahad. So you're a prophet. He stole a word from the Hebrew. He put it in his Quran. But by doing that, Allah cannot be one person no more because Echad does not mean one as a person. It means one as a unity. One as a unity? Exactly. Wait, I have a question. Mm. Uh, do, you, do you accept um, the church fathers? What the church father mean? Well, we'll change the topic now. Uh, what does this have to do with this? No, it's it's related to God. It's related to God. Oh, God my, my God is my God. So, it's, it's not a... It's yeah, not, yeah. Uh, my, I mean, I mean not, there's nothing it's called related to God, no. Because simply, I am not related to God. I am created by God. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying the topic is so related to God. So people should not so, believe in sure. me. People, they do not need to believe in me in order to believe in God. So if there is somebody, he delivers a message to me, and he is a prophet, we don't believe in him. We believe in God. Yeah, yeah. So huh. the church fathers are the people who succeeded the apostles and their don't, teachings. Why are you changing topic? We are talking about the Quran. No, I, I know, Quran. I know, I know. But like, wouldn't it make? Um, I just want to have this one question because it's been bothering me. Okay. So Saint Irenaeus, mm -hmm. he is the student of that is traditionally taught that he is a student of Polycarp mm -hmm. and Polycarp is a student of the Apostle John. Mm -hmm. That's what the tradition of the Christians hold to. Mm -hmm. And John, the Apostle, who was, you know, the Apostle of um, uh, Jesus, give right? Me the, give me the question, so, my friend. Give me the question. So, Irenaeus, he said in a quote about he gives a commentary, you know, like a tafsir of a verse. Give me, right? a, give me the question, my friend. Don't give me a. You are, you are making me sleepy. Sorry, seriously. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So Irenaeus said that the that the son, right, that the father excels in knowledge um, compared to the son in divinity. Mm. So the father knows more than the son. Mm. So if that's true, how can the son be God if he doesn't know what mm. exactly the father? Well, knows? you can understand that as you wish. But what I know that Jesus said, that our Lord, he says, that everything I have is given to me from my Father. So Jesus confessed that whatever he have, all of it is coming from his Father. So what he is saying to you, for sure, that whatever the Messiah he have, the Messiah is born of the Father, not the opposite. It's not the Father is born of the Messiah. So the Messiah, by being born of the Father, and he is the one who is considered the Son of God, that person is given from the Father authority, knowledge, power. And that authority is about judgment, eternal life, forgiveness, life and death, healing. So everything Jesus he have is from the Father. And about the knowledge, this person, he can say whatever he wants. This is his philosophy. But the Bible is so clear that Jesus, he is saying from the beginning, like if you go to book of John, in the beginning it was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. And that word is the flesh. The word of God is the logos, is the knowledge, is the mind, is the will. That is Jesus. So Jesus have the knowledge of the Father because he is born of the Father. But because he is born, so, everything he have is born with him from the Father where is everything coming from. So he can say as a priest, his philosophy, maybe if we read more, we can understand what he is saying. Uh, I don't know the guy. I don't care for him. I never even heard his name. But who care? For us, we have the Bible and we go what Jesus say. And what Jesus say is so clear. Everybody, I, I, can, I can get now a Christian uh, minister. He can explain the verse in some way. It's not necessarily wrong, but he have his way to explain it. So the person, he have his way to explain things. Maybe I did not receive it in the, in the, in the way he is saying it. Maybe he did not mean what you are saying. Maybe he meant it. But at the end of the day, we don't follow him or anyone. We don't even follow but John. Now listen, listen. We don't even follow John. John is not our God. John, he delivered to us what God inspired him to say. 
We are not following John. So, but who understands? Who understands the text more than the people? No one understands the text more. More, no one understands the text more more than Jesus Himself, who explained Himself, because Jesus is the one who's my friend. Jesus Himself, He spoke, and you can. This is why there is people who they can they can fabricate, they can give their own false answers. There is people now they justify fornication, killing, stealing. They say God He made us this way. What we can do? They can and they can justify it in, in their own way. But this is false. We for us we follow what God said, not a philosopher. Not a preacher. So, Listen carefully. So what about what about in Don't Mark where Jesus said he doesn't know the hour? I just answer you about that. that. Jesus in the same chapter says that when this and this and this and this and this and this happened, I will come. So Jesus obviously he knew all the hour preparation. The announcement of the hour it's for the Father. Jesus he have a job. Just the Messiah he says I have work, and my Father work too. So the father have a work to do, and the son he have a work to do. The Messiah, he was sent, the Bible says, for God he loved the world, he sent his only begotten son. To what? To save the world. That is his work. The father work no. is different. Listen, my friend, it's not up to you to understand as you wish. You are asking, yes, no, so hold on, hold on. So, so the Messiah, it is not for him, this is not his job, to announce. Do you know what the word father mean? Um... In this context okay if you go right now and your father is in the house and he is going to announce something who, who should announce it you or the father um but the problem is don't don't don't, don't avoid first... don't avoid the, the answer you know you're let's say your sister she is getting married and you are there and your father there and there's people there who is the one should announce the marriage the son or the father? But the verse says knowledge. Well, don't change topic. I'm announcing. asking you, why do you want to answer? Why Muslim they go but in circle? Why, why Muslim? Listen, 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 like listen, hold on. Listen, who is the one? I'm asking you about the wedding. And then we will go there. Who is the one should announce the wedding? The son or the father? Why are we talking about announcing? Because this is what it is about. The God the How Father. You know God the Father. You see, we believe in Trinity. We believe in Trinity. So God the Son is a person. God the Father is a person. God the Holy Spirit is a person. God the Father as a person is the one who will announce the day of judgment. God the Son, this is not his job. So I keep asking so you, who is the one? Jobs? Can you answer me? Who is the one who will announce the wedding? The Son or the Father? Why? But I don't understand why no, you say no, that. No, you are you are you are playing you are playing dumb now in purpose. Who is the one? You are a Muslim in your tradition. Who is the one who announced the wedding of your sister, your father, or you? Um, I'll do it because you are an idiot. You are not a Muslim then. Muslim don't do that. You're a, nice. You're a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. Because in our tradition, we are in the Middle East. It is the father who announced. It's an insult to ignore that the father is there. It's not your business. It is the father. That's why he is your father. And not only one. He is the one, actually. He have to give the permission. He is the one who have to approve it. He has the one who have to announce it. And then it's going to happen. So you are ignoring even your tradition. So Jesus, he's speaking to us who we are human, that listen to me, everything I have is given to me from my father, I have work to do, and my father is working too, and this is his work, okay. is to announce okay, okay. the day, same time, it is the day of judgment in Christianity, it's not pre-known, it's not a destiny, in Islam it is. I think I get it, so the father and the son, so wait, with your analogy, so there's two human beings, so you, see, you see, you see, you are very funny and very silly. I will go with your logic. The father was the son and there is two human beings. So when Allah in the Quran, he says, the moon is split and the day of judgment have come. Allah is two human beings or one? What? It, what? You see, I did not say my God is a human being and father no, is no, a no, human no, being. No, 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 I didn't say Falsely, that. Falsely, you said that. I'm, I'm asking you, saying... listen, listen, listen. So Allah, we are talking about day of judgment. So Allah, when he announced in the chapter of the moon, that the moon split asunder and the day of judgment is sight. Did Allah speak as a son of God or as God? 
What a son of God. What is that? That doesn't make sense. Because you are saying that Jesus do not know the hour because obviously Allah do not know the hour. As you see in chapter 54, Allah announcing the hour that the day, the day of judgment is started. The moon split asunder. It was a sign of the day of judgment, but nothing happened. It was just, yeah, an, it was just an eclipse. So here Jesus is not a fa false person. He says, my father. Why? Because this is the truth. His father is the one who will announce the day of judgment. This is not, not of his business, not of his command too. It is the father command. It's the father business. But when the Quran says the hour has drawn near and the moon has been eclipsed asunder. And according to Muslims, the moon split two pieces to the point separated and appeared the Mount of Hara. This is how far the distance, which means millions of miles away from each other, two parts. What happened? Your God, Allah, obviously, he did not know the hour. So in my case, as a Christian, when the Messiah, he say, only my father, well, because we believe in Trinity, in your case, Allah do not know the day of judgment because of what? Because he have a father and the father will announce it? Wait, but isn't, but the Trinity... Don't, don't say but, ask, ask, answer, answer about the Quran, and then we, you, can, you can but me. Don't tell me but. Why Allah, but we on the why Bible Allah first. he announced the day of judgment and it, he failed? No, because he's just saying it's a sign. No. He said, yeah. okay, so, uh, thank you guys, it's a sign. This is 1400 yeah. years ago, the sign of yeah. splitting the moon. So did Allah change his mind and he put the moon together again? If it's a sign, he, no. should, he should cup it, okay? The Quran says that the moon split. Did the Quran says Allah, he put it together? No. So- Yeah, that's this, fine, but like- What, I mean, what uh, fine? Okay, this is this is Allah. He have no uh -huh. father. He have no father. Same time, if Allah he knew that this is a false sign, he should not mention it. So now we are fourteen hundred years after, and to confirm to you that this is really what he meant. He meant that this is the judgment is starting. Isn't it your prophet? He said, "Liyushikna Isa," that the Messiah is going to down go down between you. Soon? Yeah, but like, yeah, but what, 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 like, what do you mean? Tell me, is that age? true? So, a fourteen hundred years might seem a long time, but if you think about it, the age of like the universe and the Earth, it's a very small time. Okay, so. but my friend, your prophet, he said, he saw a kid and he said to them, "This kid will not grow old before the hour come upon you." This is not yeah, about so. a million year. You must tell me you keep fabricating things. So this kid will not grow old until the hour will come. Is that about a million years for you? No, because, um, so wait, can I give my answer to that? Go ahead. Okay. So some companions went to him and asked, when is the hour? And he gave the boy an example and said he will not uh, grow old until um, his hour comes. No, so the no, hour, no, that the is hour. a false, that you are a liar. He said it clearly, no, no. the hour, he, he did not say my hour. Okay, you know what, in the front of everybody, if you show me in the hadith, the word saying, my hour will come, I will apologize from you. Yeah, so in the context, it's speaking Don't tell me about, contact, you see, you're lying again. Wait, don't speak about context, but it's very important. No problem, you can't tell me the contact, this is the whole story. He saw a child, they asked him, they came to him, they said, the prophet, when the day of judgment will be? He said, he looked at the child with them, he says, this child will not grow old, and the hour will come. They were not asking him, yeah. if he, when he, how will, are you saying to me that Muhammad is making a prophecy that he will not live as much as this child will grow old? I mean, he's already old. He was 60 years old. So what the, what the heck is that? Listen, listen. When, when the, uh, can you read the hadith for me in front of everybody? I wasn't done explaining my answer. Can, can you read the hadith for us so you can explain it better? But I, I couldn't get to explain you, it my whole but thing. In, in order to explain it, you have to read the hadith. Can you read it for us? Um, can you send it? You do not know it? Yeah, I know it. I know, this, I know the whole thing. Uh -huh. I know what the thing is. But it's talking about 
death. It's talking about his death. False. Because that, false. That's there's two. Yeah, no, no, no. It's false. not false because even if you have you read um, Ibn Hajar's commentary. I don't care about commentary. You see, I you, you are giving me your commentary too. I can give you my commentary. Is that what you Muslim go yeah. by? Okay. So are you yeah, saying I, to me? Uh, okay, you okay. You see, you see how Muslim you fabricate things. You just said somebody who was not exist in the time of Muhammad. He came maybe ten thousand years after, and now he is the one who can tell us what the prophet he said. But the hadith is so clear. He says the hour will not come. He did not say my hour. Did they ask him when you will die in the hadith? No. Did they ask him when we will die? No. What they ask him is when the hour will be. Correct? Um, wait, I'm reading the, I'm finding the hadith. Uh huh. There it is. So look, it says right here, Anas ibn Malik reported uh -huh. that the Prophet said uh -huh. um, that a person asked the Prophet, uh -huh. when would the last hour come? Thank Thereupon, you. Thank you. The last there, hour. The last hour. Can I keep reading? Uh -huh. Can I keep reading it? Uh -huh. Thereupon, Allah's Messenger kept quiet for a while. This is important. Impo very important. For he sure. kept quiet. For sure. Important, yeah. It's very important okay, because exactly. it's to show why mm -hmm. what I'm saying makes sense. Mm -hmm. Then looked at a young boy in his presence belonging to the tribe of Azul, uh, this tribe, I don't know how to pronounce it. And he said, if this boy lives, he would not grow very old till the last hour would come to you. First, the word loss is not exist in the hadith. You are making things up. It says, I'm reading you are a liar. Right Apologize. I'm not lying. You're a liar. Anna said that this you are a liar. You apologize. You are a liar. I have the hadith in front of me. You are a liar. Apologize. Can you show me the word? I don't lie. Can you show me the word in Arabic where it says the last? Or you are the reading, you are reading the, the first. You are reading the first translation of the Muhammadan, correct? But why should I believe your translation then? I, I I'm, not, I'm uh, Arabic. This is Arabic. You do not need my translation. Yeah, and so, these guys know Arabic. Too, read it in so Arabic. So. Use Google Translation. But this is circular. I could say you have the wrong No, no, you cannot circle. It's not a game. People are watching. There's millions of Arabs around the world. It says here, yeah. in hadith, haram hatta There's no last hour. There's no your hour. There's none of this. They're asking him, when the sa'at taqumu sa'a. It's so clear. Mata taqumu sa'a. They did not say our hour when we will die. No, he said. So the lower. Listen. So, let, let me. Let me. Let me. Let, let me do this. In front of everybody, I'm going to use Google Translation just to show you how the Muslim did duct tape their prophet, who is a false prophet. He claimed that his God told him that the hour is coming soon, and this is confirmed when Jesus. He, he said that Jesus, Isa, and Yenzi, uh, the Messiah will come between you so soon. Yushik, you know what Yushik? Almost there. This is not a thousand years from now. He's not saying like a hundred years. That's you're fine. It's almost can be a two thousand years. 5, no, no, years. no. You see, you see, you Muslims, you you lie. When you shikna, no. you shikna is now, not tomorrow. You shikna is almost in the corner, and now we have yeah, this. Almost can be okay, 5, hold on, years. hold on. Listen, here we go. I just use Google Translation, and I will post the, the the website. Everybody can open it, and you can open Google Translation, and you will see it doesn't say your hour. It doesn't say your day. It doesn't say anything. They ask him when the day of hour will happen. The day of hour. All the hadith and all the Quran. When they speak about taqumu sa'a, everybody knows right away this is about the day of judgment. This is not about anything else. When the look, hour, you see, look, let us read together. The they hour, come to the him. Hour. They come to him. Let me post even Google translation. And you said, how I can trust your translation? Don't trust my translation. Read in Arabic. Don't you know your religion? Yeah, I've had many people who know Arabic. And they okay, are can you invite anyone Arabic. who knows Arabic? He can read for us. Um, let me uh, wait. Mm -hmm.
I think I can get someone. Okay. That's wonderful. Um, the person in the audience, I think his name is, uh, let me see. I was going to put his hand up. We will invite him. Make a request. Okay, wait. All right. This is the guy, Sajaj? 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 Is that the guy? No, 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 no. Okay. No, no, no. Wait, I can give a snipping tool of a screenshot of Google Translation. It's saying what I said. False. I have it right in front of me. You are reading false translation, my friend. I'm showing you the Arabic. But you, you, but you just told me to use Google Translate. Like okay, a minute here we ago. go. I'm using. Okay, read Google Translation. Give me, give me the hadith. Hadith you are reading. Here we go. Are you, are you, are you translating the same hadith I'm showing you? I'm translating. This is hadith okay, number just... two five nine two nine five three. Two five nine three. Uh -huh. I'm reading, and this is hadith number six one six seven al Bukhari. This is two nine five three in Muslim. This is the most authentic. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah I so, got that one. Too. So it doesn't say what you are saying. You are lying, my friend. Wait, where can I send? My friend, you are lying. Apologize. The hour, you see, when you say the hour, that is a definition. There's only Wait, one, there's only one the hour. There's only one hour. That is the day of judgment. Asa. Everybody know that. On the authority, I'm so how do I how do I send the Google Translate? Yeah, you, what what Google? you are reading? Authority of who? What hadith you are reading? The one that you said. Okay. How come it's in the front of me? I just use Google Translation. It doesn't I'm say what you're saying. So okay. how can I send I'm showing it in my screen. I'm showing it in my screen. People, they can take a screenshot for you and they can post it for you. Okay, I'll send mine. Mm. I... Uh -huh. And Abni, Abni, Mary, etc., etc., okay. Uh... Okay, so it's in the front of you. When the hour will come, guys, this is his, this is his, listen carefully. This is what he sent us himself. Not what I did. He is using Google translation, not the page, the whole page. He just copy the text, right? All right. Does it uh, say, humbly speaking, does, it say does, it, does it say the hour in the front of you in the translation you send me? When the when the will the hour come? Did they say when our hour will come? The translation you sent me, the screenshot you sent in the in the in the, in the screen. When the, the hour comes. Yes, when the hour exactly. They are not asking about their hour. What hour? They don't have an hour. All of them they will die in one day. <laughs> wait, uh, all wait, of them the guy, they will die. The the all stage, of them the they will the die. Stage. Listen, listen. Did all you... those people be, be, they will die yeah. before this game. Is, do your even your prophet? Look. Do your prophet? Is it the Quran says nobody knows? Hey. Do, you, do hey. is it, listen, listen. Just to show you how you Muslim you lie. Is it the Quran says nobody knows when his hour will be? How come Muhammad now he knew he's God? Only Allah knows. Because of, of old age, because of old age. But this guy right No, not me, old age. Right? Hold on, man. Listen, who said, that even the, who said that they are even old? With them, there is a kid. And nobody speak about their age. And nobody speak about when they die. It says here in the front of you, the hour will come to you in that day. Until the hour comes. Do you see? Until the hour. This is what you post for me. You post it. Can you speak the Hanbali who's right in the stage as sure, well? Sure, sure. Okay, let us take Hanbali. I will give you a vacation then.